Music artist Janet Jackson has had a remarkable career, marked by numerous achievements, but none stand out as much as insert your choice of defining work. From her groundbreaking work in the music industry to her strong influence on pop culture, she remains an iconic figure in music. Share your stories and memories in the comments below as we delve into some interesting, surprising, and sad facts. Born on May 16, 1966, in Gary, Indiana, Janet Jackson emerged from a famous family of entertainers, including siblings like Michael Jackson. Growing up in a large and talented family presented its challenges, but also laid the foundation for her future success. Coming from a musical dynasty, her exposure to show business was unavoidable. Her early years were filled with experiences of fame as her brothers, the Jackson Five, became stars. These early experiences likely fueled her passion for music. In the early 1980s, she began her solo career, initially living in the shadow of her siblings' achievements. However, her big break came with the album Control in 1986, which marked a significant turning point. The album's success not only established her as a major figure in the music industry, but also showcased her independence and unique style. Her career soared with subsequent albums like Rhythm Nation 18814 and Janet, confirming her status as a prominent figure in pop and R&B. Throughout her journey, she consistently showcased her versatility, not only as a singer, but also as a songwriter, actress, and dancer. The influences of her family, especially Michael Jackson, and her personal experiences, including early challenges and triumphs, undoubtedly shaped the artist she became. Her impact on the entertainment industry extends beyond her musical achievements, reaching into her influential presence in film and television. In conclusion, Janet Jackson's early life and background laid the groundwork for a remarkable career. The dynamics of her family, coupled with her resilience and talent, propelled her into the limelight, making her a lasting icon in the world of entertainment. Janet Jackson's album Janet was a huge hit, with six top ten hits and over 15 million copies sold worldwide. In 2009, she released another collection of her best songs called Number Ones. One of its singles, Make Me, topped the Hot Dance Club songs chart, marking her 19th number one in that category. This accomplishment made her the first artist to achieve number one singles in four different decades. Interestingly, she turned down a role in The Matrix to focus on a concert tour. Such dedication to her music shows her commitment to her craft and her fans. It's clear that her influence on the music industry is undeniable, spanning multiple decades and genres. In 27, she was listed as the 62nd most searched for woman on the MSN hot list, highlighting her enduring popularity and relevance in the digital age. During a challenging period in the late 1980s, she was hospitalized multiple times over several months at Brotman Hospital in Culver City, California. This phase of her life, marked by personal struggles, contrasted sharply with her public persona as a burgeoning music star. She made an early acting appearance on the television show Different Strokes, playing the character Charlene Dupree. In one memorable episode, she was expected to sing Ebony and Ivory alongside Willis and Kimberly. Despite her later success as a singer during this performance, she was so shy that she barely whispered the lyrics, highlighting a stark contrast between her initial public appearances and her later confidence as a performer. This early experience in front of the camera did not hint at her future success in music. Just a few years after this shy performance, she released Control, a hit album that catapulted her to the forefront of the music industry and marked the beginning of her journey as one of the most successful female artists of her time. Inspired by trailblazers like Lena Horne and Dorothy Dandridge, Janet Jackson rose to fame in the music industry. She grabbed the attention of audiences worldwide, ranking 18th on Lyco's top 10 female searches in 2001. A significant moment in her career happened in 1994 when she became the first pop artist to perform at the famous MGM Grand Garden Arena. Throughout her journey, she continuously pushed boundaries and made a lasting impression on pop music. Her performances weren't just shows, they were unforgettable experiences that secured her place in music history. Every stage she stepped on was like a canvas where she painted her legacy, leaving behind a series of groundbreaking achievements and setting milestones that still impact the industry today. Indeed, her inspirations shaped her path and influenced future generations. Janet Jackson's story is one of strength, innovation, and pure talent, a tale woven into the fabric of pop culture, motivating countless artists to aim for the stars. This narrative is 
1993, Janet Jackson released an album simply titled Janet to assert her individual identity apart from her famous family. Despite the absence of her siblings, she took charge producing and co-writing songs showcasing her autonomy and creativity. Before her music career took off, she made an early impact in the entertainment industry at the age of 10, portraying Millicent Pennywoods in the television series Good Times. However, her early physical development posed a challenge for the producers who had to find ways to conceal her maturing figure while filming. Her journey into the music industry began at 16 when her father, Joe Jackson, also her manager, secured a contract with A&M Records. This marked the start of her professional music career, setting her on a path that would redefine pop music for years to come. In 26, Janet Jackson released her ninth studio album, 20YO. Despite achieving some impressive numbers, the album struggled to overcome the Super Bowl backlash, which overshadowed its success. Due to being blacklisted by music channels and radio airplay, the album was profoundly affected. Nevertheless, 20YO managed to attain a platinum certification by RIAA and received a Grammy nomination for Best Contemporary R&B Album. In January 2002, Netscape's Top 10 Music Marvels ranked her at number 9. Her song Anytime, Anyplace was sampled in Kendrick Lamar's 2012 single Poetic Justice, which shares its name with the 1993 film she starred in. Janet Jackson has left an indelible mark on the music industry. In September 2006, Blender magazine ranked her 16th on its list of 100 influential figures. The album Rhythm Nation achieved a rare feat by producing No. One hits on the Hot 100 chart for three consecutive years from 1989 to 1991. In 2005, she secured the 26th spot in Lyco's top 30 female searches, emphasizing her popularity. Her chart-topping success and widespread recognition highlight Janet Jackson's undeniable impact. The consistent production of hit songs over multiple years reflects her talent and broad appeal. Lyco's ranking further underscores her enduring relevance and continued fan interest. In summary, Janet Jackson's career is adorned with accolades and accomplishments, solidifying her position as a prominent figure in music history. The top rankings and chart-topping albums showcase her lasting influence on the industry. Ranked fifth on Rap Up's 50 Sexiest Women in Rap and R&B in 2001, she also secured the 11th spot on TV One Access's 16 Sexiest Black Women Alive list in July 2008. Besides her music career, she appeared as Charlene Dupree in Different Strokes. Her co-star, Todd Bridges, dated her during the show, mirroring their on-screen romance. He revealed in his autobiography that he had a couple of flings with Dana Plato, another co-star. Her presence extended beyond music, making her a notable figure both on and off-screen. Hailing from Encino, California, Janet Jackson attended Lanai Road Elementary School, setting the stage for her journey into music. Despite her massive success, there's always been a part of her that yearned to return to studying law. A crucial moment in her music career came with the album Rhythm Nation, which made its mark in music history. It received heaps of praise, securing a spot in Rolling Stone's list of women who rocked the 50 greatest albums of all time at number 26. It also found its place in the catalog of 1001 albums you must hear before you die. The acclaim for Rhythm Nation speaks volumes about its impact on the music scene. It was recognized by influential publications like Rolling Stone, Entertainment Weekly, Slant Magazine, and Spin, cementing Janet's status as a trailblazer. The praises for Rhythm Nation underscore not just its artistic quality, but also its cultural significance. Janet Jackson's music has left a lasting impression, shaping and inspiring generations. So, the story of Janet Jackson's influence on music is deeply ingrained in our cultural heritage, a testament to the power of creativity and the lasting effect of talent. Indeed, it's a legacy 